Yo, what's going on guys? This is TJ Pedro and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be telling you guys who the Yankees should pick up other than Manny Machado. Now, just a disclaimer before this video starts. I am not trying to diss Manny Machado. Manny Machado is one of the most talented ball players in the league right now. I just think the Yankees could go a cheaper and better option with this selection. So, to all you Yankee fans who think this is inevitable, just hear me out before you spam the dislike button. Okay, let's continue. So, the player I think the Yankees should try to sign is Jed Lowry. Now... I'm going to put a picture up on the screen right now of a side-by-side com -side comparison of these two stats. Lowry had a 267 batting average on the year with 159 hits with a 4.8 war, the, the big stat of the year. Manny Machado had a bit of a higher average with 297. 188 hits with a 5.7 war. Now, the stats might tell you that Machado's better. Because he is. He's a better player. But, Machado's going to be making close to $300 million this offseason. Jed Lowry will be making about 30 if he's lucky. For the stats that are here, I think the way better investment is to invest in Jed Lowry, knowing that Gregorius is going to come back. That's the big thing. Gregorius will come back after the season. And now everyone's like, well, they could just trade Andujar. Why would you want to trade a rookie phenom like Andujar? He had one of the best seasons for a rookie in Major League Baseball history. Why would you want to give up on that so quickly? Yeah, if we would have gotten Cindergaard, the trade would have had to hurt for us to get that. And that would have helped us out a lot. But Machado's not going to help us out enough. 300 million dollars and to get rid of Andujar but that's just my opinion what do you guys think tell me down in the comments below if you're new here hit that sub button help me hit 100 subs ASAP if you like the video leave a like down below and I'll see you next time